What's up Airsoft girls and boys and welcome to my helmet presentation video. I've set up this helmet loadout in winter 2023 as a part of my gear preparation for the next season and would like to share my experience with you here. Let's get a closer look. As a basis I used a simple fast helmet replica model by Bigardi in olive color tone. It combines two very important features for me. First it came in for just about 30 bucks and therefore is quite affordable. Second, it's extremely lightweight, so I won't get tired of wearing it even on longer game days. One of the fundamental modifications I did to it was putting on a fabric helmet cover in Marpet camo pattern. It not only matches the camo type of my body camo, but also enables me to attach and hide other accessories. Let's take a look on the back side of the helmet, which is some kind of its storage area. Here we have the anti-fog unit by Novridge, which is the most important feature of the helmet's fog prevention ability. By turning the little knob on the right, a built-in fan will start to suck in fresh air from the outside. The air is guided through the double tubes right into my goggles to reduce the risk of fogging. I can even turn on the turbo mode in cases of heavy fogging to ensure clear vision. When I want to check the battery level of the anti-fog unit, I press this small button. Green means fully charged, yellow means medium and red signalizes critically low charging level. Here are two tips for all the anti-fog unit users out there. On the one hand, you should attach the tubes with zip ties to the unit. This helps to secure them from falling off, which happened to me sometimes. On the other hand, you can add Velcro to the unit's housing in order to secure it from getting destroyed by opponent BBs. This is a typical issue of the anti fog unit, displayed in many reviews. Additionally, you get more surface for your patches. Just while editing this video, I found out Norwich came up with a second generation anti fog unit. They claim it to be far more durable than the first one. Close up shots up to two jewels shall be no problem. You can be sure, I will test this soon. You should also add zip ties to the front side of the tubes, where we find the magnet connector for the goggles. The goggles I use are also by Norwich, they call it the Anti-Fog Safety Goggles Large. I made a large review about the Anti-Fog unit in combination with those goggles and I'm still impressed how effective they stop fogging in airsoft. If you like, give it a look, here's the link to the review. Just below the anti-fog unit, I attached an additional USB battery. Actually, I own three of those, as I found it on eBay for only one euro per piece. I think it was a free merch gift in a Call of Duty World War II bundle originally. The battery can be used in two ways. Either it charges the anti-fog unit via USB, in case it runs out of power, or I use it to power up my action cam on the helmet's front side. The cable is permanently attached to the helmet and hidden under the camo cover, so it gives a nice and clean look. The camera I use for helmet footage is the OneCam Thump Pro. It has no internal battery built in, which gives it its slim and light appearance. With a recording resolution of 4K and 30fps, it gives a suitable image quality for my first person gameplays, but unfortunately has no image stabilization without post editing. If you're interested in this camera, make sure to check out my video overview. For playing in dark surroundings or on night events, I added a small flashlight to the helmet's left side. It is attached via a 3D printed mount and comes equipped with a white LED, which can switch between three light modes. High intensity, medium intensity, and flashing effect, which can be used to distract opponents in some situations. For longer night games, I exchange this lamp with a red light LED version in order to preserve natural night vision of the human eye. Additionally, I attached a tactical signal LED on top of the helmet, which can be used for example when being hit or in some Milsim scenarios. To be honest, it does not come in handy very often, but it still looks cool in my eyes, so I keep it attached. 
In terms of radio communication, I rely on a simple Bowman Evo 3 style headset by PHX. Unlike typical helmet headsets from Pelta, Earmore or such, it comes with only one ear speaker, so I can hear my surroundings and nearby teammates better. This effect is supported by the small cutouts in the headset shell, which make me hear both surrounding sounds and radio calls from my team. The connection between helmet and headset is as easy as it could be. I simply put the existing headset straps between the velcro elements of the helmet cushions, which makes a reliable and uncomplicated solution. When I close the helmet buckle, the headset is pressed against my ear automatically, so it feels like one single unit, a feature I would not like to miss anymore. The setup is completed by a special face mask with fog prevention capabilities. To be fair, this is actually no part of the helmet itself, but I still would like to introduce it to you because it took my gameplay vision in Airsoft to a whole new level. The mask I'm using is the Cygnus Armoury Full Face Warrior Mask, which protects my teeth from getting shot out but gives free space for the nose area. Therefore, the air and humidity I exhale are not stuck inside the mask that much and do not find their way into my goggles, with less fogging as a consequence. After tons of mesh masks I tried in the past years, this is my favorite model up to date and a perfect addition to the overall helmet setup. And that's actually it! I tried to put all the traits of my helmet setup in one compact and informative video and I hope you could take something out of it. What are your thoughts on my helmet loadout? Do you have any questions or would like to share your experience with special helmet equipment? The comment section is all yours now. Looking forward to read about your opinions. If you like, see you in my next airsoft video which is coming soon. So long, have a good one.